Hey, what's going on guys? I saw these mushrooms a little while back. I think it's time to cut these things off and cast them in aluminum. So after cutting this one off, I realized this thing's very hard. It's not like your normal mushrooms that you see. This is actually pretty hard. So I'm like, wow, I could probably sand cast this. I apologize for not videoing the first part of the mold. I'm not sure how many of you would actually want to see it, and it was quite long. Um, but this one I'm doing a little bit differently. I am using the stem of the mushroom as the sprue. And like usual, I'm sifting this first part of the sand to get as much detail from the mushroom I can. And then I fill the remainder of the box with sand. This sand really captured a lot of the detail from that mushroom. So now what's next is I have to remove this mushroom from the mold box. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna tap on the stem and push it out slightly and try to pull it out with my hand without actually pulling any sand out with it. I like to place a piece of cardboard between the crucible and the plinth. So when I remove the crucible, it doesn't stick to the plinth. For this pour, I used a riser extension. The reason for this was because I wanted a bigger area to pour into, and I also wanted more head pressure into the pattern because it's so big, as well as it didn't have a large vent.
Here it is, guys, all cleaned up. It looks fantastic. And look at it compared to the original. It basically has all the lines and all the indentations that the original mushroom had. If you liked the video, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing.